Janet Dubois' salary and net worth When she passed away in February 2020, American actress Janet Dubois, who appeared in both TV and movies, had a net worth of $2 million. Perhaps Dubois' most well-known role was as a regular on the legendary TV sitcom Good Times in the 1970s. Dubois had a recurring role on CBS's long-running soap opera Love of Life prior to her big break in Good Times. In addition, she starred in the beloved film Diary of a Mad Housewife. After that, she had a cameo in the iconic 1970s TV series Stanford and Son. She was cast as the sour-toned gossip Wilona Woods in Good Times as a result of her portrayal as Fred's love interest. Dubois continued to make appearances on TV sitcoms, such as Moshe and The Steve Harvey Show, after Good Times concluded in 1979. After making appearances in the 1988 dark comedy I'm Gonna Get You Sucka and the more recent 2003 movie Charlie's Angels, full throttle, she made her big screen debut. Renowned actress Dubois won two Emmys for voice acting on the TV animated series The PJs and one Emmy Award for her work on the TV movie Other Women's Children. The life of Janet Dubois before and after her Good Times role as Wilona Woods. Famous for portraying Wilona in Good Times, Janet Dubois passed away on Monday. The persona of Ms. Dubois was that of a gracious neighbor with a remarkable sense of style. On Monday, Janet's daughter made her passing public. Sources indicate that she may have been older than the 74 years of age that the family records for her. In Philadelphia, Dubois was raised by a single mother. Like the majority of black families at the time of Jeanette's birth, their means of subsistence was quite limited. The actress moved to Brooklyn after reaching adulthood and leaving Philadelphia. She joined other bright future stars on Broadway there. Her choice soon paid off as she appeared in numerous Broadway productions, such as Diary of a Mad Housewife. She was directing a youth acting workshop in Amityville, New York, by the 1960s. She moved to Los Angeles after that to film Good Times. When Miss Dubois was working on Good Times, one of the executive producers, Norman Lear, gave her more opportunities. Lear gave her a nudge toward the Jeffersons. Subsequently, the Los Angeles Pan-African Film and Arts Festival was co-founded by Jeanette Dubois. Janet began contributing lyrics and vocals to the well-known The Jeffersons theme song, Moving On Up. She wrote the song as an ode to her mother. In the song, Ms. Dubois makes a promise to her mother that when she becomes famous and well-known, she will get a luxurious apartment and other comforts. Janet's daughter Gupta Fields claims that Ms. Dubois made a promise to her mother in the song. Before her mother passed away, the Good Times actress was able to honor her promise. In her own words, I moved my whole family. I bought her a mink coat and a house. I retired her after doing everything. I fulfilled every promise I had made to her. Ms. Dubois appeared in several sitcoms after filming Good Times, including Diary of a Mad Housewife and The Steve Harvey Show. Afterwards, she was honored with two Emmys for her role in Eddie Murphy's The P.A.'s. Later on, in an effort to highlight gifted individuals of African descent, Jeanette Dubois co-founded the Los Angeles Pan-African Film and Arts Festival. From a personal perspective, Miss Dubois reared a family in defiance of Hollywood stereotypes. Her son, sister, and daughters will all miss her terribly. Dubois is known to have once been married to Sajit Gupta, with whom she had a son named Raj Christo. Raj was unfortunately taken too soon, dying at the age of 36. He fought cancer for three years before the illness claimed his life. He collaborated with the actress at her Janet Dubois Academy Theater for Arts and Sciences prior to his passing. Janet's Treviel Record Since she never discussed her personal matters with the media, very few people were aware of it at the time of his passing. Dubois' desire to remain anonymous was nearly unattainable because of her notoriety from good times. From 1974 to 1979, she played the same character on the comedy series on CBS for five years in a row. Her acting career, though, really got underway in 1958. Years after Good Times, she starred in The Wayans from 1996 to 1998 and provided the voice of Mrs. Florence Avery for the PJ's voice cast from 1999 to 2001. She was in What's Happening, as well as the 2016 movie also had She's Three Other playing. Children named Rani, Yovan, and Burkhart Dubois, in addition to Raj. At an early age, Rani followed her into the film industry. Together, they starred in What's Happening and Good Times. In Glendale, California, 
Dubois passed away at her residence on February 18, 2020. She had chronic kidney disease and peripheral vascular disease, according to her death certificate, but cardiac arrest was the cause of death. She was seen in excellent spirits attending a fan event in Hollywood just a few weeks before she passed away. Her three children survive her. In retrospect, Dubois is regarded as a gifted musician and actress. In addition to her well-known television roles, she co-wrote and sang Moving On Up, the well-known theme song for The Jeffersons. The show followed the African-American family of James and Florida Evans, who raised their three children, Michael, Thelma, and James Jr., in a Chicago neighborhood that was predominantly black. The show depicted the struggles of the Evans family to overcome poverty with James, the family's head, working multiple jobs and occasionally gambling to make ends meet because he consistently refuses to accept charity donations. These days, 40 years after Good Times concluded, the main cast members, John Amos, Ralph Carter, Jimmy Walker, Janet Dubois, and Esther Roll, met to discuss reviving the comedy series. The cast had missed their happy times together, so John Amos, who portrayed James Evans, the head of the family, talked about the idea of bringing the show back at a fundraiser. While the other family members shared their thoughts and insights, James, John Amos, amused Wilona, Janet Dubois. He stated, I get lonely now that I stay all alone at the apartment. It seems that the actor intended to reignite their relationship while it was still airing off-screen. Wilona flings a little, but afterwards she smiled. Jimmy Walker, a member of the show's ensemble, also revealed some intriguing details regarding the actor's relationship off-screen. He disclosed that he wasn't as close to the other actors in real life. Jimmy clarified that while he and John are still in contact, they were never close friends and that he never had Esther's number. He continued by saying he thought his fellow cast members were overly thrilled to be on a well-known television program, and as a result, they were unaware of the difficulties that come with being at the top. I believe they killed the goose that laid the golden egg, he uttered. These people get crazy and upset whenever you say anything to them. They don't get it, man, I uttered. Despite the fact that Walker made many hurtful remarks about the other actors, none of them have reacted or commented on them.